Tajiks in Russia fear mass deployment to war in Ukraine. In Moscow, migrants from Tajikistan are trying to avoid leaving their homes due to fears of deportation or being sent en masse to war against Ukraine following the terrorist attack at Crocus City Hall, according to the New York Times, because four of the suspects detained in the attack near Moscow are Tajikistan nationals. Anti-migrant rhetoric has intensified in Russia, especially online. Xenophobia has been spreading most actively in the pages of so-called war bloggers and supporters of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, who are predominantly far-right. As a result, the Kremlin is satisfying the demands of war supporters by promising tougher actions against migrants while also trying to prevent an outbreak of inter-ethnic tension in society. According to Russian state statistics, nearly a million citizens of Tajikistan were registered in Russia last year as labor migrants. A food business manager in Moscow, where Tajiks work, told the New York Times that the sentiments resembled those of the 2000s when Muslims from the Caucasus faced widespread discrimination after terrorist attacks and the war in Chechnya. Tajiks in Moscow are so scared that they hardly go out at all, she said. They fear not only deportation, but also involved in the war in Ukraine, said 25-year-old Seydanvar, a Tajik human rights activist who recently left Moscow. Tajiks are really afraid that the Russian authorities will start sending Tajiks to the front en masse to fight as a sort of revenge against our Tajik people, he said. The Tajikistan embassy in Russia warned its citizens over the weekend not to leave their homes unless necessary, and one migrant advocate told CBC News she has received thousands of inquiries from migrants who are on high alert and in some cases facing increased racism and scrutiny from authorities. I tell them not to go to mosques now and don't visit any shopping and entertainment centers if possible, said Valentina Chupik, a lawyer who provides assistance to Central Asian migrants in Russia. People are getting detained on the street and in the subway, while Russia's economy relies on the migrants to fill jobs in the construction industry and service sector. Advocates say the population is already marginalized and faces anti-immigration sentiment, which appears to have risen since the attack. Russian missile passed over Poland. Poles refused to shoot it down so as not to endanger people. Lieutenant General Jacek Gorizowski, spokesperson for the Operational Command of the Armed Forces of Poland, has explained that a Russian missile that entered Polish airspace on the night of the 23rd to the 24th of March was not downed because the Polish military realized that it would leave Poland's airspace and an attempt to down it would have put civilians at risk. Gorizowski explained that the decision not to shoot down the missile was taken by the commander of the Armed Forces Operational Command. The decision was based on the information from our radar systems. The assessment of the missile's trajectory, speed and altitude showed that it would leave our airspace, he added. He added that an attempt to down the missile would have posed a greater risk for locals. A missile weighs over two tons, 400 kilograms of which is the payload. After the missile had been downed, missile debris would have fallen on our territory. The remains of the effector used to down it would also have landed there, he explained. Gorizowski noted that if the missile had flown deeper into Poland, a decision to down it using pairs of F-16 fighter jets may have been taken. It is the operational commander who assesses the situation and is authorized to make that decision. On the other hand, even after receiving permission to down a missile, a fighter jet pilot may decide not to do it if there is a risk that debris could fall on a hospital or a school. The location of the missile's landing site is also important in making the decision, he explained. Gorizowski added that Russia deliberately maneuvers its missiles in such a way that they circle round and strike targets in Ukraine from the west. The Ukrainian air defense has realized that most Russian missiles come from the east or north. The defenders are less likely to expect an attack from the west, he said. On the 24th of March, Polish airspace was violated by a maneuvering missile launched from a long-range Russian warplane. The missile entered Polish airspace near the village of Osadow in the Lublin Voivodship and remained there for 39 seconds. 